Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today we are taking a look at a small buck knife. This is the Buck 303 Cadet. It's a Stockman style knife. I take a look at the tank stamp and the Buck dating system indicates that this was made in 2009. It has Delrin covers, nickel silver bolsters, and you can see the nickel silver, silver bolsters and the liners are all made of one piece of nickel silver. See the buck tanks, or excuse me, buck shield there also in nickel silver. Three back springs no liners. Now Stockman patterns have been around since the 1880s, 1890s, and they typically are a three-bladed knife comprising a main clip point blade, which is sort of a general purpose blade, a sheep's foot blade, which could be used for trimming hooves. It also makes a very good box opener these days, and a spay blade, which as the name suggests was used for castrating or spaying uh, cattle, sheep, so on. Now the blade layout on this Buck 303 has changed over time and it's a little different than the normal Stockman. Uh, couple of things about this. When Buck originally made their 303, it was laid out more like a normal Stockman with the clip point and the sheep's foot at the same end. And that's what you're typically going to see. Uh, typically you'll have the clip blade and the sheep's foot at one end and then the spade blade at the other. Here you can see they've switched the split, the spade blade and the sheep's foot so you have the sheep's foot by itself at this end and the spade blade and clip blade at the other end. Now, when they did this, they also removed the liners and went from a two spring to a three spring system. In a lot of stockmen, you have the clip point running on its own spring and then the spay and the sheep's foot running together on a second spring. Here, each blade has its own dedicated spring. And what that is allowed to do is to put the spay blade, or excuse me, the sheep's foot blade and the spay blade in here without having to cant the blade. Uh, in a lot of stockmen, you have a blade that's just angled slightly so that they can fit together. Here, having a dedicated blade, you don't need to cant them so they're straight. And as you can see, there is not a lot of extra room in there. Uh, the tolerances on this are very tight and there's no indication on the blades that they are doing any sort of rubbing. So uh, kudos to Buck for putting it together so well. Um, really good fit and finish uh, on this. The Buck 303 is still being made. Uh, here's the, again, is the Tang stamp, if I can get the light here. U.S. made knife, still made in the U.S. Um, this little area up here provides a nice little choil type area for your finger. It's not a real finger choil, but it operates as one, so you can get up on the blade a little bit. If you're looking for a smaller size Stockman, uh, this may be a good option for you, particularly if you want something made in the U.S. As I said, they still make these, and they are made in this style uh, of this 2009 version. Great little knife, very useful. Uh, Stockman pattern is very, very popular. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.